All right, here is the usual information that we put up here uh, every day. And today what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be doing the Galileo experience. So you should get out, find, print out, get out this thing that starts with Galileo. Okay, so again, we're going to want to uh, hit pause on this. Um, what this lesson is about, really, one of the really important things in physics is modeling and sort of cutting out the factors that don't matter that's going to allow us to come to a deeper understanding of the things that do matter. And Galileo was really one of the first people to do that, and one of Galileo's uh, things that he said that was really, really important was that all objects fall towards the Earth with the same acceleration. All objects fall towards the Earth with the same acceleration. So, uh, looking at this little sheet here, I want to prove Galileo wrong, okay? So, uh, the first thing, find two objects. I want you to find two objects. One is heavier, one is lighter, and I want the heavier one to land before the lighter one. That's what I want you to do. Go, look at this, find those objects, hit pause, do the experiment, show that you can prove that heavier objects fall faster than lighter objects. Hit pause. All right, here's my demonstration of that. I have here a sheet of paper, and I have here a 500 gram mass. And I drop them, and look at that. Clearly, the 500 gram mass drops faster than the sheet of paper. Let's do it again in case you disagree. No contest whatsoever. Galileo is wrong, right? Well, we got to think a little bit more about that. The next thing that you need to do is I want you to find two objects where one, where the, the lighter one drops faster than the heavier one. So go around, find, you know, you don't need to be in a lab to do this. You can just be in your house or in your dorm or wherever. Find two objects where the lighter one falls faster than the heavier one. Hit pause. Okay, what I've got here, I have a little orange pen cap. That pen cap weighs around four grams. This thing, this piece of foam, came from some packaging material. This foam weighs 70 grams. So, this weighs about 20 times as much as this. It's much, much heavier. Now, I go, and clearly, let's back it up. Some people might say, oh, well, let's just see it again, okay? Clearly, the orange pen cap lands before the foam does. So, there might be something to what Galileo had to say. Now, I want you to think about what have we not talked about yet. So, in three, what are the two things you need to consider when predicting how something will fall? And four, explain why all objects don't fall at the same rate. Um, complete the following statement. Objects fall at the same rate if, right? So, there's something else going on. And I want you to hit pause and think about what's going on and come up with an answer for yourself about what's going on. All right, so the punchline of this activity is that what's 
stopping these objects from falling at the same rate is air resistance. And air, air resistance has different effects on different objects. And so if you've got an object with a lot of surface area and not a lot of mass behind it, it's going to have it's going to fall through the air slower than a compact, dense object. Okay, now part of this video is to go and watch uh, the YouTube video of them dropping a hammer and a feather on the moon for Apollo 15. Because on the moon there's no air resistance and since there's no air resistance, you'll see that the hammer and the feather fall at the same rate. So, what Galileo did is he understood that in order to come up with a good understanding of what's going on, we need to cut out something really, really complicated and get down to something simpler. The complicated thing that he decided to cut out was air resistance. He realized that air resistance was complicated and that he needed to ignore it for a while and develop an understanding of physics without air resistance and then build air resistance back in later. So what we're going to do in this course is there's going to be a lot of simplifications that we make because if we try to look at perfectly real-world experiences, we would have a lot of trouble understanding them. So we're going to kind of make some more made-up experiences that are going to show the underlying physics that we want to study, and then if you decide to continue with, on physics, with physics in the future, then you will slowly learn how to build back in more and more uh, complications. And that's what physics is about. Strip it down to the simplest thing you can and then slowly work in more and more complications.